Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a quick walkthrough of the iArtBook app for the phones. Now if you have visited my channel recently you s probably saw that I did make a video going through the iArt app. However that was on my iPad and I just didn't realize that they had it available for the phone and a lot of you got back to me on that saying that you did have the phone version or at least you were looking into getting it for your phone because some people don't have iPads or some people just prefer the phone. So I decided to just do a quick walkthrough for the phone version as well because the placing of certain controls and panels and buttons are actually different than the app on the iPad. They're very very similar but there are some differences so we'll just do a quick walkthrough on that for you guys but before I start the video I do want to say I have made a brush set just like the brush sets that many make for Procreate however this is for my art book so it is compatible it's a group of about 20 stamps that are marine life so if you're into that kind of thing definitely check it out I will leave it linked in the description of this video now one more thing before I start I know I keep saying a lot of things but this is important after this video I am going to be making another that I'll post shortly Basically answering all your iArt book questions on layers and brushes and just all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments below. I already have several that I've kind of taken pictures of and saved and put away for that special video. But until then, go ahead and stick some more down in the comments if you happen to have any. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. As you can see, we are on the homepage. Now, I do want to note that this is currently being filmed vertically, but I'm going to turn it horizontal and... See, it switches. So, just so you know, I am going to be filming this from now on just horizontal. So, the controls are going to look like this. So, first thing you may notice are all the brushes on the far right side. And, yeah, it's got a lot of brushes. This is something that Procreate does not have, but I honestly think that they should. All these brushes that you can preset on your own. There are six, and you can just come back to them. As you're working on the same art piece so if you happen to have an art piece that takes up to six preset brushes or even if you have two and you don't want to go back and reset and pick your other brush this is very very helpful because you're going to be able to do that in my art book so there's that and you can press any of them these are just preset ones i'd messed around with but as you can see this one roses so i'm just going to show y'all real quick there are so many brushes, so many brushes. Ink, sketching, pins, and every time you press a little section, it just pulls up so many more. So many, I mean, and these are all free. So when you first download the app, they'll all be available right here. So, so many. I think some of my favorites are the weather and the sky, because I just love all these little clouds. I mean, look how pretty and the stars and everything. I love it. So that is it on the brushes. Now we are going to move on to the left hand panel real quick. Now this has a lot of buttons. It can get confusing, but honestly, when you learn where everything is, it's, it's so easy. So you can get going in no time. So the first top button, I don't know why, but I just call this the three dots button. I've always, I've always called it that. It usually shows that there's more than just one selection under that button. So if you press it, it has all these options. So if you're working on something and you want to save it, you're going to find that under the save button right there. If you want to smudge your piece or bucket or shapes or selection, transform, copy, paste, you can even add effects and flip your canvas from here. You can also add a reference, which is really, really cool. You just press on it and it will pull up your camera roll. So if you have a reference, you can just pull it right in there. Um, there's a little, little cloud there, so we'll just, we'll just roll with that. But Below are the two buttons that are undo and redo. Many of you probably already knew that, but I just felt like pointing that out in case you didn't. So if you make a bunch of clouds and you don't like it, boom, undo. Or if you accidentally undid it, redo. Now you can double tap with two fingers and, well, actually, single tap. Sorry. It is not double tap, it is single tap. With two fingers, it will just undo for you. That could be easier than looking for the undo button and just tapping it, I don't know. Whatever you prefer, that is an option. Now this little target looking button is actually a color selector. So if you've had, say, several brushes, this red, 
these colors aren't the prettiest, but this is just for an example. So you've got your red and your blue here, and you're on blue, but you want this brush to be the same red color, or any other color on your art piece. You can press that little target button, wave it around until it's on that color, let it go, and now your brush is that color. So that's super cool, really useful. And that's what that little thing's for. The next is obviously a brush button. Now this is a harder way, in my opinion, of just selecting the brush that you want. So instead of going to this far right side, as you can see, and just pressing directly on that one brush, this just allows you to select the same exact brush from the same exact one you're on on the right hand panel. So I would not recommend doing that. I would just go directly here and just press, just keep going. I will never use that brush, but it's there. The next brush is obviously eraser. When you press this little erase button, obviously it's going to erase. However, I've actually noticed that this will erase in texture. So as you can see, the far right side has actually changed. So if you press on it, you can select a basic brush like you would if you were drawing it. However, it will convert to your eraser brush. So technically it would erase in that texture, which is pretty cool if you want want to have a solid color but then just want to go over and erase certain parts but in a texture like maybe grass you could probably do that for grass or nature scene so that's a really cool option and then this little graph looking coat this little circle right under the erase button is going to be where you select your colors for each brush now I'm just going to go back to the brush button. As you can see it changed to a color, it changed to pink because I for some reason had pink selected but they have a boatload of preset palettes, which as you can see, I'm still scrolling and they're still coming to look more. I mean, they've got a ton of preset palettes. This is way more than Procreate offers, but as well as on Procreate, you can create your own palettes. So you can press that little add button at the very top left hand corner and that will make your own palette. So if you're on this certain color, let's say I'm just on this pink and I've somehow created it. And I have this custom color that I want to save. You can go back to colors into your palette one and press add. And it will add the pink. And just to be clear, you want to press the add button right next to the name palette one. You don't want to press the one at the top left hand corner because that's just going to make another palette. So that's how you make your palettes. And then the very last, well, second to last button is going to be the one that helps you access your layers. Now this particular app, I, I don't know where the limit is on layers, but I have gone crazy just to see how many there truly are. And it's let me add 50, and I stopped at 50 because I was just tired. <laughs> My thumb was tired of pressing. So you get a bunch of layers. This could also depend, they may limit you on layers just like Procreate does, where if you have your canvas set to a much higher pixel, amount or a higher resolution like 4k and may limit you but i haven't checked that out so right now under standard square canvas it, it lets you add a ton of layers so this is awesome and the very last button of this video we're going to be exploring is this little two arrows at this diagonal point and when you press this it's just going to make everything disappear so let's just say you want to get in there and you don't want these little things blocking you because they can block you and they can be annoying so you just press that and they disappear and that is pretty much it you just press it to make it reappear the only other thing I would show you are the two sliders on the very right hand side are the two sliders on the very right hand side right next to the brushes the very top one changes your brush size so makes it bigger smaller and the very bottom one changes opacity and that is pretty much it guys I had a lot of fun making this for you again if you have any questions as far as just how the app works or if you want to know how to do a certain thing, again, I will be making a video shortly just answering questions. That's all I'm going to do in the video is just answer your questions. So feel free to put your questions in the comments. And don't forget to check out the brush set that I do have available for sale on Etsy. It is exclusively for our art book, Little Marine Brushes little marine brush stamps that I'm sure you would enjoy. I am actually going to be working on some more brush sets if you would be interested. So if you like some more stamps or certain shapes, 
Also let me know in the comments and I can get that out for y'all and available on my Etsy shop. And that is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your feedback and as always, I appreciate your support. I definitely want to help you guys with this app because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot existing as far as just helping with the questions. Even the iArtbook official channel that they do have on YouTube seems kind of scarce as far as videos and there are loads of questions in the comments so feel free to transfer some of those questions to me and I will try my best to answer. Alright, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video.